day at the beach here in sunny San Diego. A great day for a demolition. Well, today is day one, D-Day, and that stands for demolition, as we bear witness to the transformation of this one-story beach cottage into a two-story contemporary masterpiece with ocean views from the second floor and rooftop deck. We'll be watching the progress weekly as we see this home being built from the ground up. This is the homeowner, Joe. Joe, what do you think is the home coming down behind you? Uh, I have some second thoughts. I'm thinking of maybe reverse changing my mind. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's too late. I was going to ask him if it's too late, but maybe it is. You think? Oh, no. no. I'm here with Bill Photo, who's a superintendent with Wardell Builders. Bill, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? What's the machinery you have here? And what's the process of taking this house down? Uh, today we have... Uh, Titan excavating, they have two machines, a mini excavator and a uh, skid steer. And what they're going to do is use the mini excavator to pull the house down in sections, compact it, and then they're going to have some uh, construction bins dropped off and they'll load those up and then they'll be taken up to be recycled at a recycle center. What's the process here? Is this a one day process, five day process to sort of clear everything out? Um, it'll be probably about five days. So we're looking at next Thursday, we should have everything removed, ready for, uh, we're gonna get into some retaining wall. So I imagine if it only takes five days to tear it down, then it only takes five days to build it back up? That's it, five days, we'll have yeah. a brand new house. Yay, wow. Well, only on TV. But uh, this, this project will take a year from today uh, for full completion. So here we are, it's the day after day one demolition. Very little of the home is standing. We've got quite a bit of rubble here. About 60% of everything that's taken from the house is going to be recycled. We see a little bit of the old kitchen and uh, one of the bedrooms, but the house is pretty much about three quarters of the way taken down thanks to this giant purple monster here. The purple monster's jaws of death. Ah. Well, it's work day four and there's not much left behind me. There's just part of the foundation wall that they're taking out with the purple monster, a red monster, and a yellow monster. Those are my technical terms for the machines. Today we had the opportunity to talk with Robert Padilla, president of Titan Excavating, that's been in charge of the demolition. Uh, that machine has a what's called a thumb, and it grabs parts of the houses and pulls them. So it could pull away from this building on this side or this building on this side without the house collapsing. So we try to implode the house so it collapses into itself. And that's what the thumb does. I shared with Robert my secret desire to drive the Purple Monster and asked him what it's like. It's a very fun machine to drive. It gets out any kind of stress. It's a stress relief for me. Robert also described some of the other machines used in the demolition process. This is one of our smaller machines. It has a, a, a hammer on it. So once the house is completely down, uh, we start with all the footings and break them up. We take, the, we take that purple machine with a thumb, pull the footings out, this throws it on the slab, we, we hammer it to pieces, and then we put it in the 10-wheeler with the, the Caterpillar skid steer. As phase one demolition ended, homeowners Joe and Mary broke ground for their new home. Stay tuned to At Home San Diego Live for more episodes of Ground Up.